Hi, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How are you today? Thank you for attending this seminar on strategic market plan. Let's begin. Uh, this is the uh, mind map that uh, focus on part one on situation analysis, of which there are five sessions, uh, but we are not going into detail. Let's zoom in to session one, okay? So session one today is on the philosophy of strategic market plan. As we can see in this mind map, there are three components, i.e. the first one, philosophy on strategic market plan. Second is on the marketing concept. And the third is on the market concept. So second part is marketing concept. Third is market concept. The difference of ING. So strategic market plan comprises of three interrelated concepts. What are they? Strategy, philosophy and belief system about the consumer and the organization that we represent. Strategic involves holistic, involves long term, the well-being of our consumers and the organization that we represent. The market, interaction of the important stakeholders, who are they? Consumers, suppliers of raw materials, channel members, i.e. the wholesalers and retailers for FMCG, fast moving consumer goods, and the distributors for consumer durable product. Competitors, who are they? How strong or how weak are they within the same industry that we operate? And the general public, for example, government agencies such as the Department of the Environment, and a plan, a proposal that consists of the 10 stage process that includes the three main sections, the planning, the implementation, and the control aspect of managing a product or service. An SMP aims to achieve three basic objectives, that is market share, sales revenue, and profit margin. Marketing versus market concept. The two concepts are different in terms of focus and direction. Marketing concept focuses more on trying to sell a product across the various market segments on a national or on an international basis. While market concept is more focused on only those selected segments that we believe our product can be of benefit to those selected segments. Strategies and tactics. Marketing concept focus on the product, while market concept focus on the consumer, which are two different concepts entirely. We will explain in more detail as we move on to the following slides. Budget allocation. What is above the line and what is below the line? Above the line is basically mass media advertising, so TV commercial, newspaper, advertisements, billboards. While below the line, more towards sales promotion, social media, publicity, public relation, personal selling. Implementation process. Marketing concept, again focus on the mass media, whereby the company or the advertiser has to pay for the advertisements in a newspaper advertisement or TV commercial. While market concept is, focus, is to focus on social media as well as consumer to consumer, such as direct selling, getting consumers to sell to their friends. Marketing concept refers to the process of selecting and implementing the various marketing strategies, such as the four Ps, 
in a product or a seven P's in a service marketing. And four P's in this case refers to product, price, place and promotion. And the tactical involved in trying to sell the product. And tactical is basically short term, not more than three months. The objectives are increase market share, increase sales revenue, the number of units sold in a given period, and increase profit margin. And therefore, that involves higher operating costs because the firm has to spend lots more on advertising in a mass media. The marketing concept, the first step is to produce the products. The second step is to look for the various marketing strategies in order to sell the product to the mass market. In conclusion to the marketing concept, as we can see in the diagram, the marketing strategy is in the center of the company's attention, while the consumer needs and wants are secondary. The market concept, the firm focuses on the consumers, suppliers, channel members, competitors and the general publics. This is basically a Japanese philosophy because the Japanese believe that all these important stakeholders play a role in the success of a company and its products. The objectives are higher market share, higher sales revenue and higher profit margin. And therefore, companies focus more on below the line, public relation, publicity and social media, where the budget is, is much lesser as compared to above the line strategies that involves mass media advertising. The first step in a market concept is to identify consumers' needs and wants through market research, asking questions about what the consumer wants or does not want. The second step is to produce the product or products or services that the consumer wants through market research activities. The subsequent steps are then to select the relevant market strategies, such as so through the social media, consumer to consumer market strategies. Thus the focus is, the focus on market or consumer is as we can see in this diagram, that the consumer is in the center of our attention. While the four P's, i.e. product, price, place and promotion are outside the focus of attention. In other words, it is more important for a company to focus on the consumer needs and wants rather than on the four marketing strategies. Question and answer session. The question here is, in today's business environment, which is more important, the market concept or the marketing concept? The philosophy is simple. We do not attempt to sell to the consumer. Rather, we should let the consumer buy, which is the fundamental concept of market. That is, the focus is on the consumer. Let the consumer buy, that the consumer decides. That is today's contemporary philosophy. That's end of session one. Thank you for attending. See you in session two. Goodbye.